I mean, we finished in near darkness um, and then moved on today to first Borth and Inneslas, which is another lynx course, uh, bisected by a road which runs right up the middle and looks alarmingly close at times. Uh, not just the road, but the beach. When you cross over the road, you're then wedged between beach and road for a few holes. And uh, on a windy day, I would think there can be some very interesting results there. There's a lot of activity going yeah. on, on that golf course. Absolutely. You've got you've got the distraction, obviously, of the waves on uh, when you're going out on the left hand side. Uh, you've got the railway. Uh, you've got the road going through it. Uh, but you've also got some extremely tight, very difficult golf yeah. holes. This is a scary hole coming down the stretch. 200 yard par three to this very thin green. The tee back over there on the right, the beach. Uh, the only saving grace, perhaps, the fact that the right hand side of the green has a, a bank that will bring you back down into play with slight miscues. Yeah, yes. and then when you, when you run round behind that hill on the sixth, there were some quite tall dunes, aren't they? Went from this flat landscape to a fairly rugged landscape. Well, you actually said that, didn't you? That it, it, and it did remind me of uh, places like Dunebeg, yeah. uh, because of the size of the uh, yeah. of the dunes. So, yeah, quite a contrast. I think we've got some good photographs as well because the weather was great. Yeah. Completely different <laughs> um, good, from yesterday. And uh, the beach obviously did come into play for me twice on <laughs> one hole. Um, interestingly, that some of the holes where the beach flanks the golf course. The beach isn't out of bounds but it's a lateral water hazard so uh, worth remembering that that you're not uh, not spilling two shots really just one shot if you spray it onto the beach. Yeah. Um, then this afternoon we went up a little bit higher up to the golf course at Aberystwyth which is celebrating its centenary this year, 100 years old, Harry Varden creation back in 1911. Very different to the rest of the week wasn't it? Um, it was. It was a pleasant surprise. I've not been down this far uh, in Wales before. Um, I've played St Davies and Abu Dhabi before, uh, but today was uh, was a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the course. I enjoyed the conditions of the course. I enjoyed the views from the golf course. And from my perspective, um, it offered up many opportunities to produce some some really good photographs. Yeah, but uh, it, those of you think that it might be perhaps. A holiday golf course. Uh, play the first two holes, and you might have to reconsider because those were, those were pretty tough holes uphill as you work your way up to the top, both 440 odd yards or whatever. And uh, if you made par on both those holes on any given day, you've played some very good golf. That's probably one of the toughest starts. Yeah, I think that I've played for a long, long time. There's also uh, an extremely, um, very nice. Uh, Golf hole, uh, the green is very small. Is that the 13th? That's the 14th. 14th, yeah. yeah. yeah the green the size of a postage stamp. Yeah, which set um, up on a plateau. If you do come and play it, that's the one to look out for.